Look, there's a reason why 26 of the most physically fit women in the Marine Corps have failed out of this course. That reason is simple. When you put 120 pounds on the back of a woman, she crumbles like a fucking crouton. Look, one of the top comments even says, I'm a retired woman Marine, he's 100% correct. I was put through men's training in the 80s and 90s. I'm a very physically strong female, but I couldn't keep up to the men's standards. It's a shame the British Army aren't as realistic. Want to get up there, want to get up there, let's go. Not gonna happen! No, not gonna happen! <laughs> quite what we expect at the moment. A bit painful to watch. Because it's a fucking waste of time, really. Another thing that was painful to watch was Chile's all-female SWAT team competing in a SWAT competition and failing miserably. Vamos! Belarus, Thailand, Chile. Two teams from the Emirates. Oh! Oh! oh. The first one to get wet in the ice bath today well they are stuck in the middle of that zip line have uh, three team members stranded what the fuck are you doing thankfully the water will be a little bit warmer than it was oh oh, oh. It's all going horribly wrong. They will have to retrieve those uh, weapons from the ice bath. All of the equipment. Oh! Embarrassing! <laughs> so this is an international SWAT challenge and for some reason Chile decided to send women there just to completely embarrass themselves. I mean, you first see this and you laugh, but then you realise if this was a real life situation, people would die. Imagine you're trying to sneak in somewhere dangerous and some donut falls off the zip line and just starts splashing in the water. You're dead. When it comes to life or death situations, we need to throw out all this box checking, inclusivity shit out the window. Nothing against the lad, it's not his fault, he did what he had to do, but it's so stupid they allow boys to compete against girls, especially when they've just hit puberty. But I guess they better get used to it, because nowadays anyone can identify as whatever they want. Fellas, you need to take care of yourself and one thing that so many guys miss that they end up regretting later is neglecting their skincare. That's why I'm excited to have T. Shanley as a sponsor of today's video. T. Shanley is all about making skincare simple and effective for guys like us. With their level 1 system you get everything you need for healthier, clearer skin. And guess what, they've offered an exclusive deal just for you. When you become a member today you'll get 30% off your box plus a free gift. I didn't always take my skincare seriously but now I am and the results speak for themselves. If you're looking for an easy, no nonsense approach to skincare that actually works, T. Shanley's got you covered. Also, T. Shanley are now offering you guys a bigger, better deal. You now get 30% off your first box, a brand new gift even better than the last one, and 20% off for life. So just click that link in the description and take a look for yourselves. Does height matter in a guy? Does height? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Step on the scale. What? <laughs> no. You don't ask So take it back. You... Okay, I'll take it back. All right. You're forgiven. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. What would you rate me out of 10? And for what purposes? Uh, out of looks. Of looks? You're a good six. Oh, six! Mm -hmm. What would you rate yourself? Nine. Oh! oh, oh. 
sensational. If you're an adult trying to promote your OnlyFans by asking strangers stupid questions, then you're you're a fucking idiot. With the conversations, he and other children Watch of this. color could go to a safe place during these conversations, and that's oh, segregation. Oh boy. And uh, your son's father, who's African-American, how does he feel about all this? I'm a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you shouldn't cry during your pregnancy. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Uh, let me explain something to you ladies. Okay, let me explain something to you. This is how transmission works. There's energy in the, in, in the motor, and then there's the wheels. And you want the energy to, to go to the wheels. And so the way it works is the transmission is full of gears. And they're moving, and they're coming together. And then there's a little thing called a little flywheel and a clutch plate. And, and that thing starts to spin. And there's friction. And as the friction builds, the... Uh... Well, this is how we feel about Valentine's Day. We don't give a fuck! <laughs> it's facts! It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts! These sizes are not facts! <laughs> You know what is don't touch my car maybe? <laughs> yeah. This is not your car, get out of here. Keep your hands off my fucking car. Yeah, you right. Frick. Sometimes we need to choose where we're safe in life. <laughs> That's a smart decision. It reminds me of this story actually. Take a look at this. He saved a crocodile's life and they became best friends, but it came with a cost, his wife. While out fishing, Cheeto came across an injured croc that had been shot in the head. He's always wanted to befriend one, so he brought the 15-foot croc back to his house. His wife wasn't fond of that, especially since they had a one-year-old crawling around, so he moved Pocho the croc outside. Over time, he built trust with the croc. He started slow by touching his tail and eventually worked up to kissing on the mouth. He spent most of his time with the croc, so much so his wife left him. To that he said, I love I like my wife and I love her, but I can get another wife, not another Pocho. After months of nursing the croc back to health, he brought Pocho back to the river for release. But when he woke up the next day, Pocho was outside his house. He wouldn't leave Cheeto's side. The two were best friends. Pocho would even run to him when his name was called. Cheeto could jump in the water, wrestle with Pocho, and nothing would happen. The two remained best friends for 23 years until Pocho died of natural causes. <laughs> Someone said so, moral of the story is a two-ton natural killer machine is easier to live with than a wife. <laughs> uh, brother, uh, what's that? Okay, so this is me and my like second set and I see what's about to happen but I just keep working out for a second. Pay attention to where he places belongings. No. So at this point, I'm so aggravated because the sweat dripping in my eyes burning. He disturbed me in the middle of his set and I got asthma. So I couldn't even defend my little corner. And then you all like, do what you gotta do. What that mean, sir? I would say that she needs Michael, but because she's a gym donut, we're gonna say that she needs Joey. So you're upset with this man because you say he's in your personal space. I'm sorry. You don't get to set your tripod up to film next to a machine and call that your personal space. That man has every right to use that machine and that space. And he even moves his bag back to not be in your video. Then you go tell him that he should go use the other machine which he explains doesn't work right, but who do you think you are to tell someone what machines they can't or can't use? Then you go and support comments like this saying, it's because this man is white? Seriously? No, it's because you're entitled and you think you own the gym, which you don't, and you think you're a victim, which you're not. You need to do better. Mind your own business. If you can't handle me at my... <laughs> You don't deserve me at my ah! minimum height. Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. So I'm gonna say at least 200. 200 grand? Like 200. See, this is one of the big problems with dating. You've got too many below average women with shitty personalities thinking they deserve a top 1% man. That's why men need to stop simping and bring back balance. How old are you? 20. 19. How long you been together? Four years. When you go out together, who pays? Him. Most of the time. But 
But I gotta make her pay sometimes, cause she be making me pay for everything. So I make her pay for sometimes. You feel like it's too much pressure as a man to always be putting the money forth every single time. Yes, especially at her age, because I mean I do make some money, but I don't be making bread like that. So do you ever feel like she might put pressure on you to spend? Hundred percent. Oh yeah, she spends a lot of money. No, I don't. She spends. She always. Okay. He, he thinks that I spend a lot of money by wanting to go get coffee or go get whatever, and he thinks it adds up. But I think getting coffee every day is like a normal thing. It adds up. I know everyone's seen the like videos. It's thing. like you spend $27 a day. That adds up to 10000 a year. I know that. And she wants to spend how much ever a day. So I know it adds up. But why not try to make it easier on your man and budget more? I just think it's the guy's responsibility. Like, I don't try to spend a lot of money, but if we do go out together, I expect for him to pay. Some of these younger girls are brainwashed to think that these younger guys are going to have money. It's normal that a 20 year old guy doesn't have money. They've been watching too many TikToks thinking that these guys need to have six figures, be six foot. Most men don't become successful until later on in life and I don't think she truly likes you if she's putting pressure on you to spend money when you say that you're struggling. She's a red flag. This guy's 20 years old. He needs to focus on himself and move on. Hey babe. Strength and honor. She's 100% a keeper. What about me being very disappointed in black men choosing other races, such as Spanish, white, and hey, Arabic? Hey, look, what and, and you have a right to feel that way. But when you guys also say that y'all have the presence of a resting bitch face and, a, and expecting that man to kiss your ass to get to know you, it's a problem for me. Because my resting bitch face is sexy. That's it's how not. I feel. It's, it's not. It's a sexy okay. It's disgusting. Okay, so what about That's what you think. That's your ego. That's what, no, what? it's not. Men All right, wait. Me? No man thinks it's that's me? sexy. All right, so like I'm just saying, you can be more approachable. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to disrespect you. Why? How, look, why? We, 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 look, you're just proving my no, point. No, I'm Yo. yeah, don't waste your time with this, my pit. There's only one way it's ending. Cat lady. They're taking the role that girls used to have. They want to be wine dined in 69, which is the woman's place. It used to be the man was like less emotional and less toxic, I guess. And now, now it's both. So now it's an issue because we're both sassy. And a lot of men have become more feminine and a lot of women have become more masculine. I think men just need to man up in general and women need to stop trying to be men. Because in general, most women are not attracted to feminine men and most men are not attracted to masculine women. Would you say that someone should do quote unquote wifey things for their boyfriend? Or do you think they should wait till marriage? I don't think I'm the person to ask because I do wifey things. <laughs> My boyfriend is the person I want to marry. So it depends on the person. I'm already doing those things. So what advice would you give to women that say you got to put a ring on it first? Well, they, why would they put a ring on it? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give them a reason. True. It's not about looks. It's not all just looks. Yeah, she actually gets it, unlike the women that say they're not gonna start acting like a wife until he makes me a wife. How do you expect a man to make you his wife if you're not acting like one? Most women would not give a guy a chance if he said, I'm not gonna protect and provide for you until you marry me. I went recently on a two week trip to South America and on that trip, I cheated on my boyfriend of two years Oh boy. But the moment it happened, I instantly regretted it. I cry every day thinking about it. I love my boyfriend with all my heart. I couldn't possibly bear telling him the truth. What would Alex do? Oh no. You know where she belongs. She belongs to the streets.